There are many reasons why we study volcanoes, but the main one is because of all the thousands of people who live nearby. And sometimes, some of these volcanoes explode. Luckily, volcanoes warn us before the eruption begins by sending out signals we need to detect and to understand. Some volcanoes deliver unequivocal messages. They begin to grumble when the magma moves, making it quite easy to predict that they will awake. Other volcanoes, calderas for example, are less predictable and their signals are difficult to interpret. Calderas are wide collapse structures that form during large eruptions. This type of volcano is very active in sending messages, even too much. Calderas commonly generate strong signals even when they are not yet ready to erupt. As a result, the risk of false alarms is very high. Calderas are found all over the world and Italy has an incredible one, Campi Flegre. This vast area near Naples shows its volcanic nature in many ways. The shape of the old craters, the presence of hot springs and fumaroles, and last but not least, the ground deformation, sometimes accompanied by earthquakes. The ground in Campi Flegre always moves. It rises up and slowly subsides over and over again. This is caused by the continuous underground movement of gas or magma. All these ups and downs, however, are not enough to establish when the volcano will erupt. In the early 70s and then again in 1982, a relevant uplift phase worried scholars and inhabitants. The increased seismicity required the evacuation of the town of Pozzuoli, yet no eruption followed the increased activity. However, we cannot lower our guard. In 1538, things went differently. Seismicity and ground motion culminated in an eruption that destroyed the small village of Tripergoli and left a brand new mountain, Monte Nuovo. Something like this could happen again, even though centuries have passed. The volcanic system at Campi Flegre is still active and potentially explosive even though it is difficult to say where and when a new eruptive vent will open. This is why we collect all the signals the caldera sends us. Like medical doctors examining a patient, we observe the volcano to track its changes, we measure the temperature and composition of its fumaroles, and we continuously monitor its ground deformation and seismic activity. These data are used to formulate hypotheses and develop theories and numerical models that help us to puzzle out natural phenomena and their signals. The comparison between theoretical models and field observations helps us to understand what is going on beneath our feet. Making predictions is very difficult. Every day we use energy, experience and imagination to bring together the information we collect as if they were pieces of a complicated puzzle. The task of scientific research is to look for each piece and to find its own place in the overall picture. The resulting image belongs to the citizens who by knowing the land and its risks will administer it to the best of their ability and knowledge.